Hi, I'm Damian Josephsberg from Equip, and this is GE Frame 5 Alignment. A gas turbine alignment is actually a machine train alignment because you're lining up three different skids. On a Frame 5, you have your accessory skid coupled to your turbine skid and that's coupled to your load gear generator skid. With any machine train alignment what you want to do is take all of your readings first. That's so that you're able to see the alignment as a whole and work off of that. So you're going to take your alignment readings in between the accessory skid and the turbine skid and your alignment readings in between the turbine and the load gear to generator skid. Once we have these readings, we can examine the as-found conditions of the alignment. At this point, what we're going to want to do is also factor in the alignment targets. We should have a coupling alignment target for the accessory to turbine coupling and also a target for the turbine to low gear generator coupling. So we're going to consider these targets in our alignment. We're going to combine them with our as found positions and determine where we're going to be moving each component to. Now we want to move as little as possible and generally for this type of an alignment the turbine is going to be our fixed point. So nine times out of ten what we're going to do is move the accessory skid to the turbine and then move the load gear to generator skid to the turbine. And in order to make these moves, we're going to make our vertical moves by moving the shims on either side of the units. And in some cases, by adjusting the fixators on the generator side. Once we make all of our vertical moves, then we're going to make our horizontal moves. Our horizontal moves are made by simply pushing over the skids to the left and the right side in order to correct our horizontal alignment. Once these couplings are aligned, while considering our alignment targets, what we're going to do now is do our individual alignments on each skid. The turbine has nothing else that needs an alignment done on it. But now, we're going to align our generator to our load gear on top of that load gear generator skid. Once that alignment is finished, we're going to move over to our accessory skid and we're going to have to line up the starting motor and the lube oil pump to the accessory gear. Once that's finished, our alignment is complete. We always want to take a last set of readings after we've moved anything, so we always end on a reading instead of on a move. I've been Damian Josephsberg from Equip with GE Frame 5 Alignment. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.